Thomas here again with another polyplastic build. This one is going to be pretty epic. Um, I am not in my kitchen. I am in my man cave. Um, hopefully you won't hear the refrigerator running or dog pitter patter across wood floors. Uh, so hopefully this will be a little bit better set up. We are going to be making you don't read Japanese kanji. Um, we are going to be making a samurai armor. Uh, most of this is going to be made out of polyplastic. Uh, I kind of wanted to show the versatility. I know I've shown you guys a lot of techniques and how to make little small props or how to do detail work and stuff. Um, I kind of feel like you need to know that you can use it for other things uh, and more uh, full applications. So let's get to building this samurai armor. Alright, the first thing I need to do is to trim this up. So if you look, I've got a black line going off around the brim here. This is the front. This is the part I need to cut off. Uh, I've, I've drawn some, some detailed pictures about how I'm going to make this. So this is, make sure it's in the light. This is the helmet. Now I could have used one of these, but when I went to Lowe's I actually found out that the ones that they had, the, the brim went kind of straight down almost. It, it kind of came down and I wanted it to kind of have a little bit more um, arch out. I'm going to cut basically the same as with the bucket. I'm going to draw straight lines on there and then use my my Dremel tool here to cut it out. Um, this is how I'm going to combine it. And I've got a bunch of stuff written in here. Um, basically all I'm doing is making mental notes for myself. Um, it always helps to get your ideas, put them down on paper, and then go from there. Now this isn't going to be what necessarily the final looks like, but it is going to give me a general idea of where I'm going with this. So I'm going to take my Dremel and I'm going to cut this, but I want to protect my glass. I know you see that mat, that mat's under the glass. So we're going to take this, put it over the top just to be safe. I'm going to take my Dremel with my sweet little attachment. I'm going to make a lot of noise. Alright, I thought maybe this was something that was helpful. Um, I did go ahead and cut this out and I, I cut a little angle on it so that it flared to the front and it's even on both sides. Um, now I'm on to cutting out this and I, I was thinking how am I going to get it straight? Well instead of trying to measure up and then draw on a curved surface, decided I'm going to find something that is the height that I want and it just so happens that the strips I want are two chunky light tuna cans high. All I'm going to do is place my blade right here, my router right here, my Dremel, whatever you got. And I'm going to move the barrel while this is going instead of moving the blade. That way it stays at the height I want and it stays even. Alright, I've got it taped off. Now I am going to um, try and use the stone bit on the Dremel to drill my holes out. I went through and marked all the holes. I'm going to add a couple of decorative ones down here that aren't going to actually attach anything, but I'm going to wait until I do the finishing edge on this before I drill it. So I'm going to take my Dremel, get really, really loud, and then I'm just going to drill out the hole. It's like a yeah, all the way around. Whew. 
Whew. Okay, it's taken a lot of sanding to get to this point, so let me explain what I have done. I took a statue and I chopped it all to pieces. It was on a little stand. I got it for like 15 bucks. I have sanded the helmet and the um, little neck guard thing. What I am planning to do is to mount this to this helmet, uh, like so. So all I'm going to do is take super glue, glue it right in there. Um, it's not going to perfectly hold it. That's where the polyplastic is going to come into I've play. Got my polyplastic. Go ahead and squish these pellets up. Yeah, probably need to get a towel. So I'm going to take a nice little section of this and just push it in the best I can. So I'm going to go chop this at an angle this way so I can mount it this way. Then I'm going to blend the spine with polyplastic up into here. Um, just using techniques that you've seen us do a bazillion times before. So I'm going to skip forward and let you see kind of what I'm working on here in a minute. I may have gotten a little ahead of myself here. <clears throat> I, I did add some more details to the dragon. Uh, I used that ridge that was already on the helmet to make it like the wings are folded back. I just added polyplastic, made a little snake, and then ran that to that front bump that was on the helmet. So now it kind of looks like it fits in there. Uh, and then I made these wings using polyplastic to kind of flare out uh, to make the uh, one of those things. Uh, and then I, I, I put that, attached that to here and then added a little piece to make it like a claw coming off of the tip there. I'm going to back up and show you how I did this. Um, I used just a simple little bowl like so I've never actually shown this technique so this is why I'm backing up and showing it uh, the great thing about the glass is it's not going to stick to the polyplastic uh, I heated up about a fourth of a cup here and simply used the polyplastic against the glass as kind of a form like so probably need to take that off don't want it sticking um, and the reason that I'm, I'm not smoothing it out um, if you wanted to you could you can make this nice and smooth um, but the reason that I'm leaving it with my hand imprinted all over it is because it's the dragon wing and on the dragon's wings, if you, I mean, obviously you can't look at dragon wings, but like a bat wing or something like that, they have the veins that run through there. And by adding my texture off of my palm of my hand, it almost makes it look like skin. So all I did was let this cool off. And then you end up with a big long piece like this. So then this, uh, the, the piece that you wrapped around the bowl, gets trimmed up, just making little passes. If you look real close, yeah, you can see the Sharpie mark where I just drew on it. Um, 
Let's see if I can get, yeah, there you go. You see how it's got that texture there? That texture is um, what's gonna make it look like actual wings, I guess. All right, here is the primed helmet. Uh, so it's, it's all black at the moment. I'm gonna leave the base black. I'm gonna paint the dragon probably gold and do accents in red. The uh, those things, the plates basically that that go around it. I went ahead and put um, some spikes. They're just ones that I got from a uh, craft store. Uh, there's little studs, I guess, for jewelry. I had to actually file down the plastic a little bit because it was too thick. Uh, so some of them were kind of hard to get on there. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> before I start painting, I'm going to assemble the helmet using my lace. <clears throat> using my lace. I do think that this lace may be a little too small. And if it is, I'll just go get some thicker. Uh, and lace it up, but <clears throat> excuse me. I'll try and do this the best I can where you can see it, but it's going to be kind of hard with camera angles. All I all I have to do is line the holes up, and then run the lace right, through. Here it. is the final result. Now keep in mind this is just the first of many pieces for my samurai armor. Uh, it's going to be red, gold, and black uh, with little bits of white all the way throughout. Don't forget to go to polyplastic.com and see all the things that they have to offer. They have sheets, they have strips, they have pellets, they have color dyes. They have all sorts of materials to help you. Uh, to also create something as unique as this guy. Um, this is, like I said, the first step of many in a project for a full set of samurai armor that we will be working on. Um, keep in view for the next video where I show you how I made this guy. Um, I haven't painted him fully yet, but you'll see that in the next video. Uh, and then we'll move on down from there. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And most importantly of all, I hope you have fun 